The water has gone out of the dirt, which means you're having a hard time getting the forklift up here? Yeah, look. What the heck? Who would have predicted that? been a while backhoe. Hope you enjoyed your short break. Nice. Fired right up. Why does something tell me it has a flat tire or some equally terrible problem? It's a problem that can be solved easily. Okay. Yellow jackets. Of course. Everywhere. Of course because it sat stationary for more than 10 seconds, so they called it home. So what's not eating our house is also moving into our other possessions. Country life. Look who's up from his nap. Look at fish. Do you wanna help dad fix the driveway? Okay, buddy. some friends recently who live in a cabin and it's a rural property they have traps out they're spraying nests like they're doing everything they can and there are literally yellow jackets everywhere they're not stinging or anything like that but like you just look through the sky and it's like nothing but yellow jackets so I mean this sucks but what are you gonna do there's, I guarantee you, there's at least two nests in that engine compartment. There's one in every single hole in the roll cage. There's one underneath the brake pedal. There's one in the instrument cluster. I mean, this is like Yellow Jacketville. Today's kind of a weird day. We have three more windows to install. And then we, so we were hoping to do that first and foremost. And then we also wanted to finish bucking out where our doors go, both the French doors and the mudroom door. Our mood is a little bit weird. I don't know, sometimes it comes out in our videos, sometimes we hide it kind of well, but I feel like we haven't been stressed, but we've really been feeling, we feel a lot of self pressure to have this house dried in and usable primitively by winter. And the by winter is kind of like the deadline in our mind. We'd really like to have it done a lot earlier. We discovered that our shower in our RV finally needs maintenance. RVs are not 10 year structures. They're not, they're maybe not even meant to last one year because most people don't live in them. They camp in them. We already caulked the shower probably six months ago, but now we're kind of to the point where we feel like we need to like replace the shower. Long story short, we need a house to live in. There's so much work to do to get the house livable. We need a bathroom plumbed downstairs in the garage. We need to get our electrical done. We feel like we need a water heater so we can hook up our radiant so we have a heat source over the winter. We need to get our roof on. That might be, we don't even know how long of a project that might be or what problems we're gonna run into. And we'd love to get some house wrap on the house. Some of you are wondering why we haven't done that yet. And before we do that, we need to foam all the holes in the sips and foam the between panel connections. But before that's done, we have to have our wiring done, our all electrical in the sips, not the interior wiring, in our stick built walls, but in our sips. We feel like we need to get some stairs built from the garage to the inside of the house. We need to hook up a radiant and a water heater. There's just so much work to do. It's already almost mid-August. 
we just know that there's just not enough time in the day to do all of this stuff to people while filming it. It's just not gonna happen. So we've kind of been going back and forth like over the winter we decided that we aren't gonna be superheroes by building this house 100% ourselves at all cost. We all have this idea of how building a house is gonna go and then there's reality. So we've kind of been talking about the idea of just hiring out not all plumbing, but just the downstairs bathroom plumbing, just so we have a usable bathroom. We've always been wanting to get help on our electrical plan. We were hoping to do all electrical ourselves, but now we're kind of playing with the idea of having someone do all the wiring for us just so that we can live in it this winter because if we hire out those two things alone, which of course is always easier said than done, but just those two things alone, we have so, so much work to do. So that brings us back to today. We're hoping to get just these three windows installed. I feel like there's just, there's so much pressure to get so much done that filming has really been an afterthought. We haven't been excited to share our journey and we are, we are excited to share our journey. We're excited to film every step of this process and we know that when the camera just becomes like a nightmare and we kind of lose our passion for it, we need to change something. Operation installing the windows is back on. Except these windows aren't even ready for lumber. We have to start with the hot knife. Do you remember why? Did we forget to hot knife these? Like what's the deal? The window bucks are not thoroughly hot knifed and this panel is not hot knifed at, at all. all. I'm so. saying we must have forgot and then once we put it up we're like we'll just hot knife it later. Oh, I don't something. think we really knew. It was kind of like we put it up and we're like, oh, because oh. there's like the wrong screws and everything. So there was no indication in our mind right, that there was a window, a window here there. until we put it up and we're like, oh, uh, and then these, every one of them, the foam is not hot knifed up high Weird. enough. Weird. I wonder why that is. Well, I already measured the rough openings and I know those are correct. Good. So, <laughs> I mean, we checked those when we installed the window or when we right. put the sips up. Yeah. So, That's really know. strange. I don't know. I do yeah. know that all this stuff is easier to do on the ground. Lesson number one of SIP.
home building. Don't get rid of your hot your knife foam. until you're done. Oh, right. Done. Like, don't think just because your walls are up, you're done hot knifing. There could still be more. Our children are born naked, bald, and with no teeth. It's definitely because of the hot knife. Totally. Zips. Wish we would've put that in the roof. Should've hot knifed. Right? Make sure you don't want the mask. Just need to get it done. I'm holding my breath. Do you look forward to me burning the food, theoretically, because I will never burn food, and like sticking up the house and the fire alarms going off and having to open up all the windows to air out the house? Man, that's a tough one. <laughs> like, like the idea of all that sounds terrible, but I suppose if that's the case, that means our house is done, our kitchen's done, and we're probably, on average, eating really good meals. And I just found another yellow jacket's nest really? in the electrical wow. chase. The smoke's smoking them out. Huh. Wow. Is there any reason I can't start on one of these windows with fitting the lumber and foam? No. I mean, I would dry fit everything for right. sure. Okay. Um, it's not going to make cuts, but we will if we have to. When your fave sees over here. I, is it a snake? No. <laughs> it's a spline. Oh, God. Oh, I hate those. Yeah. Alyssa's favorite. Wow. Sticking down. I don't know who put it there, but you can just be like, grumble, 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 all while you're cutting it out of there. One to go. We might actually get these installed today. I think we will. And was, I feel like morale is up. Morale is good. Well, it's not blistering hot today, yeah. but the sun's coming around the mountains. So it is, we'll but it's hiding. Yeah. So go, go, go. Oh.
Doubt they're out of square, but shouldn't be sloppy, I guess. Right? That's about when people start getting sloppy, too. And the very best part is putting the hardware on. So you might be wondering how we decided on the size and the type of windows upstairs in the North Gable. Our thinking is that we're gonna have, we're gonna mimic somewhat the floor plan downstairs, but it's a partial loft upstairs. So really what that means is the bedroom is gonna be reflected and maybe the bathroom and the closet, of course, having a slightly larger bathroom and closet. So because we plan on that being a bedroom, we want a window that meets egress requirements, which means it's large enough to get out of in case of a fire. And what you can actually get out of is smaller than what's to code, but we want to be to code with all of our windows. So then, because we may or may not have sleeping quarters in the loft, just a bunch of beds or who knows what, I mean, that could kind of be like a place for guests to sleep. We wanted a window that met egress requirements on that level as well since it will technically be like its own bedroom, more or less. So at the top of the stairs and between the posts, there's only one size window that would fit, which was a 30 inch window to have a little bit of space on each side. From my memory, a 30 inch wide double hung window does not meet egress requirements, even when the window is, I think, 60 inches in height. So if we wanted that size of window, it was going to have to be a casement window, which we're okay with. And because we don't want too many types and sizes of window, we decided we wanted the same window in the future master master bedroom, or the bedroom up there, whatever it ends up being. And we can't really center the window on that wall, nor can we put it on the side by the roof because there's a 12-12 pitch, so that's going to encroach on your window space. So I decided instead of centering it, which is going to look weird, or doing two windows, and that roof is just going to make things awkward, trust me, I decided that we we're going to put the window, or windows, kind of flush against one side of the room. And again, because we didn't want one larger double-hung window, we thought that might look, look weird next to the casement window, we decided to go with two casements. So we have three casements right there, it's not my favorite from the outside, but it's the north side of the house. No one's going to be looking at it from that side. We're not going to submit its photo to any magazines. So we really prioritized what we want the inside of the house to look like and what functionality we wanted it to have. And because all these windows, we plan on opening them, we opted for the retractable screen. And once again, seeing them installed, I'm very happy with this decision. I think window placements in lofts when you have like a 12-12 pitch roof or an open loft or whatever you want to call it, it is challenging. So I spent a little bit of time looking for inspiration, I guess, and I'm very confident we can make this window arrangement work in that bedroom. Looks like Jesse is ready for the final window. Woohoo! Ready? Yeah. How's this little guy doing? He's like, he's looking for materials to build his house, but he's stealing them from our right? house. Right? Is that human nature? Right. Why build something my own when I could just like steal your stuff? Get your own stinking building materials, dude. We waited for six months for these. Oh, hold on. There's no shims. Can you hold that there? Okay. 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 To get the fin out. Nice. Ready for shims? Yeah, that caulking is everywhere. So tilt it to one side or the other. Um, the shims are not in. Okay. Other side. 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 Ok
Okay. Wow, that's pretty freaking amazing. I don't think it gets perfecter than that. And we're even pretty good left to right. Wow. First try, guys. I could get used to this. I say screw down. Can we just take a moment and appreciate that? Wow. I am in love. Do you guys see what I mean about the bedroom? If we put one window right smack in the middle, in my opinion, it would look a little weird. And if we put that second window to the right more, that would look really weird. So I'm thinking that we might be able to put a king size bed or something like more in that corner. I don't know. I think at the end of the day, loft bedrooms, you love them or you hate them. And if the loft bedroom is your bedroom, hopefully you love it. Hey, listen to me, hey. hey. I never get tired of opening these so far in all of our 40 hours of having windows. I'm never yeah. tired of it. Our windows are absolutely filthy, disgusting, and I love them. What? Oh, ice cream? What? I'll open it for ice cream. Okay. Most importantly, oh my goodness. I think we can justify going on a shopping spree. I think these shorts made it through last year's home build. Did they really? I think That's these, pretty good. These have been through the entire dry in phase so far. My other pair had a blowout before winter. Wow. So I must wear them more or something. But yeah, I think it's time. We're due. I'm sure if we take these in and say, hey, could you repair them? She'll just go. Um, not worth it. Well, all said and done, today turned out to be a pretty good day. Frustrations aside, how can finishing a project not feel good to the soul? You're totally gonna use these words against us in the future, which is okay, but I think finishing the windows makes us excited to put our harnesses on and finish our roofing. Sometimes we just need a small win in life to feel motivation again.